Hi guys, this is Felicia with Keeping Up With Fifi. Um, so I wanted to come on and do a video just to talk about, um, you know, this channel. I made this channel um, at the beginning of my um, separation uh, with my ex-spouse. Um, I made this channel to talk about my journey of um, divorce and um, getting myself, my life back on track after being married. For 13 years and um just the process of going through everything um on this channel you'll see uh, i have videos where i went to therapy i have videos where i talk about the divorce process um just different little videos um i have videos on here where where i uh vlogged about a day in a life you know just things that i um started to do to work on Felicia after my divorce. So go back and watch those videos and it will lead you up to now. So as everybody know that I was married for 13 years, um, my divorce was final uh, back in the fall of 2021. We were separated for almost two years before the divorce was final. Finally, the divorce is done. Um, it's over with. I'm dating, I've been dating someone now um, for over seven, eight months now, almost six months. And um, so life goes on. I'm over that. That's behind me. But, and I contemplated about doing this video over and over again. But I said, you know what, Felicia? This video may help somebody that was in a similar situation like I was. After being married for so long, you get accustomed to a different lifestyle. You get comfortable, and sometimes we lose ourselves. And I think that I lost a part of myself in, in this marriage. Um, so I had to reconnect with myself, and I was able to do that with therapy, going to therapy for almost two years. And I probably, my daughter says I need to go back. Okay, I probably do. But anyway, I had to um I had to reconnect, you know, with myself and learn Felicia. Um, because I had, you know, sometimes you just you be in relationships for so long and you just lose yourself, you get comfortable, you lose your identity. But one of the things that I didn't do in this marriage is I didn't forget to better myself. And the way I did that, I educated myself. Um, I remember talking to my attorney and one of the things that she said to me, she said, Felicia, you're going to be okay. Most women don't have the educational background that you have. And so that does not allow them to have uh, the resources that they need to maintain a lifestyle after their divorce. So what she was saying was, Felicia, you have your MBA. So you'll be fine. You'll be able to pick up, level back up, get yourself together, you know, um, be able to take care of yourself. And that was my main goal. And that was my main concern to be able to get back where I was. Um, prior to this marriage, um, I owned a home. Um, I raised my daughter, you know, as a div divorced parent or whatever. You know, I had a sustainable lifestyle before this marriage. But like I said, you get comfortable and you lose yourself. And, you know, you just, you know, you just get wrapped up in the marriage and the relationship and you lose yourself. But one thing that I didn't forget and that I hung on to was to better myself while I was married. So I was able to obtain two degrees during the course of the marriage. I, I had finished one going into the marriage started one and by the end of the marriage i had finished uh my third degree which was my mba so that allotted me to be able to say i guess as we say to level up so um if you follow me on instagram at mba underscore 2016 you'll always see my caption under my pictures, I may say my comeback is strong because my comeback, y'all, has been is strong. Okay, it's strong. Um, I have been able to level up and to obtain what I needed to obtain, and I think I'm gonna say, you know, it's by God's grace and favor, 
But also I think because I worked on myself during the marriage as far as getting educated um, I truly don't believe I would be able, I would be in this position at this time if I had not obtained my education. And I think sometimes as women, we just get wrapped up, you know, but I've always been a stickler for education. Um, you guys know that my daughter is well educated. So education was never a thing that I play with. I always wanted to get educated. I always wanted to be able to um, obtain my master's, my MBA, which I did. And I'm not going to say I didn't have a good support system because I did, but within the marriage as far as that. But um, I was able to obtain my master's and now it has allotted me to be able to have a strong comeback from a divorce that I probably wouldn't have been able to come back from if I had not educated myself and been able to um, obtain a, a certain position that allowed it me to have the same lifestyle. And this is what I'm trying to say. Because I worked on myself, I disconnected from myself, but I did work on myself and that allotted me to sustain the same lifestyle that I had in my marriage as being now as being a single woman. So that's why I'm making this video is because there may be somebody out there like me that went through a divorce, devastated, it tore you down. You had to go to therapy to get yourself together. Um, you know, just to regroup, reconnect with yourself, find yourself again, so you can be able to go into another relationship, which I am in now. I have, um, a very good man in my life that supports me, um, and that, you know, is with, all in with me. So I was able to come back and be able to sustain a lifestyle that I had had outside uh, uh, before the marriage and within my marriage so i just want to come on and let you guys know that make sure that while you're in these relationships you don't lose yourself it, it i know it's hard to lose yourself because you're you're in love you know and it it, it feels good you know but still have a part of you that you sustain and that you work on and that you cherish that's not connected to your marriage don't lose yourself you know while you're married and i and i did that um i did that so that's what i wanted to come on and just say you know just just if you know if you're in a relationship make sure that you never lose yourself that you keep your identity of who you are you stay connected with yourself and i've talked about this in other videos as well but being able to um being able to educate myself has allotted me to have the same lifestyle that i had when i was married uh, i i'm not saying that you know if i hadn't educated myself i wouldn't have the same lifestyle but I'm, but I was able to sustain, I think I'm able to live that same lifestyle that I had when I was married because I am educated and it, it allots me to be able to have certain jobs and positions that allow me to the, you know, the monetary income, the income that helps me to sustain a good lifestyle. So, um, and I think like my attorney was saying, she said so many women, you know, they're stay at home wives, they raise their children and they don't take time, you know, to work on themselves, um, you know. Okay, so I'm back. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, about leveling up after a divorce, about making sure that you work on yourself while you're in your marriage and that you never disconnect with yourself also make sure that if you need to go to therapy 
um, after a divorce that you also go to therapy. It's nothing wrong with um, going to therapy and getting help. Um, this month is May. Um, silence the shame. Um, this is mental health month. Um, so in Georgia, I'm in Georgia, and Georgia has the is the highest state for people who don't seek one of the highest states for people who don't seek mental health. So it's okay to go to a therapist. It's okay not to be okay. And I was not okay after my divorce. So I went to a therapist and it really helped me. Um, so I was able to reconnect with myself and I was able to level back up to be able to sustain the same lifestyle that I had prior to marriage um, and the lifestyle that I had while I was married. So like my attorney, back what my attorney was saying, she was saying that most women, when they're married, um, they don't, you know, they're stay-at-home wives, they're stay-at-home moms. And when the marriage is over, you know, they find themselves trying to figure out how they're going to take care of themselves and how they're going to sustain this, the same lifestyle. Because, um, you know, alimony and all of that is very difficult to get. And um, so you have to really be able to be prepared or prepare yourself while you're married. If, you, if you're married and you're a stay-at-home wife and you're not working, take a class. Um, do something to improve your skill set. Do something that will make you marketable. I know that we all we don't want to think that our marriages will end. We want to think that our marriages will be forever, but things happen. And so in situations where things happen, you have to be prepared and ready for and have a plan B if things happen. And I think my education allotted me to be able to have a plan B. Um, and I was able to do that while I was married. So I wasn't just sitting idle and being somebody's wife. I did get educated and that's how I leveled up. And that's why under my captions and my IG photographs, you'll see me say my comeback is strong. So I wanted to do this video because... For one thing, um, you know, I get a lot of comments under my pictures about, hey, Felicia, I see you. You doing good. I'm happy for you. You know, I don't know if people want you to, to not be doing well, but I remember one of my girlfriends telling me, my good, good girlfriend, she said, Felicia, I hope everything that you lost, I hope you get it back tenfold. And so God has really been giving me back everything that I thought I lost, but he's, I, he's giving me back what exactly what I need. So, and that's enough for me. So, um, I wanted to make this video because it may help somebody and maybe somebody out there, you may be contemplating, you know, having a divorce and you're not sure how you're going to take care of yourself or if you're going to be able to take care of yourself. Um, but prepare yourself, you know, you got to prepare for the, you know, the, the, your new life, your new norm, you know, and that's, I prepare for this. It's funny how God prepared you for stuff, not knowing that me getting educated would help me down the line to be able to sustain a lifestyle for myself after divorce. I would have never thought that. But I wanted to make this video because I wanted to help somebody, encourage somebody. You know, life is not over after a divorce. Um, you can reconnect with yourself. You can um, sustain a certain lifestyle. Um, you can... Um, be, you know, be content and be happy, you know, and, and date again. You know, I am 56. I date. I live a good lifestyle. I have, you know, good support from my child. Um, we live comfortably. I don't want for anything. Um, and I work every day um, to sustain a lifestyle. 
I also have an LLC, which is another source of income for me. So, you know, life after divorce, you know, it keeps going. It keeps going. You know, a lot of people, you know, think that it's over, that their life is over and they can't go on and how they going to make it. You know, back in the day, you know, um, <laughs> women stayed in relationships because they felt like that they couldn't take care of themselves, you know, I, I, you know, how I'm going to take care of myself or, you know, if I leave this man, he provides everything f for me. You know, he takes care of me. He pays all the bills. Well, what you have to do is make sure you position yourself and prepare yourself for if something does happen and that marriage does end or that relationship does end that you're able to take care of yourself. So this, the point of this whole video is don't depend on no man to take care of you. That's pretty much the whole point of it. Um, make sure that you prepare yourself for the what ifs. You know, God forbid the marriage ends or the relationship ends, that you're able to take care of yourself. And I think I was able to do that is because I educated myself and prepared myself within the marriage. I lost myself. I disconnected from myself, but I didn't forget to make sure that I worked on myself as far as bettering myself. Um, like I said, education was always a big thing for me. Um, prior to being married or meeting the person, I always, I was, you know, going to school. I was would stop and go, go and stop you know, get married, have a child, stop, go, stop, go. But I finished and thank God that I did because as today, it allots me to have a lifestyle that I can enjoy and I can live comfortably. So once again, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope this video helped somebody. Um, no, at the beginning, it was not easy. It never is, but each day gets better and better. Um, life goes on. And um, you can have life after divorce and you can sustain the same lifestyle that you had when you were married um, or prior to marriage. So once again, my name is Felicia. My channel is Keeping Up with Fifi. It's all about who? It's all about me. It's all about Fifi. Go back and watch some of my previous videos. Go back and watch the first video that I did right um, at the beginning of the separation and I talk about different things um, about, you know, me. And just go back and watch all the videos. Please like, share, and comment on the channel. And let me know if this video helps you. Or if you, if I can give you any type of suggestions about, you know, how you think you can better yourself. Or, you know, if you're in a marriage and you know you, you want out and you you don't know what to do. You scared. You don't know the first step. Because I went through all of those feelings. I had all of those emotions. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know when I was going to do it. Didn't know how I was going to do it. But I knew I needed to do it, right? So we have all of those feelings, scared, anxiety. We have all of those things going on. So if I can help you with answer any of your questions, just let me know. And um, I'll be glad to answer those questions for you. But thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.